This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to Interstellar Rift. All right, so here's the deal. I was going to do a let's play on this game, but then after playing it for a while and trying to get the hang of it, uh, I decided it wouldn't be the best kind of game to do a let's play on. Uh, it's kind of boring to watch, I feel like, but... Uh, it's a very complex game and there wasn't a lot of info out there when I was trying to figure things out in this game and I just kind of had to learn as I went along. So I thought it would be cool to just do some t guide type videos and uh, give you all the rundown on what I've learned so far and stuff like that for people out there who've picked up this game and are like, I don't even know what to do. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go in here here and we're going to click play and we're going to click solo game I'm gonna create a brand new game here and this is just going to be uh, to show you how to get started so we're gonna leave creative mode off um, indestructible ships we're gonna leave that and just leave everything else the way it is here and then we're going to click new game so after a few seconds of stuff loading you're presented with this screen you have to choose your faction we're going to start with this one. You have uh, essentially these two here. Um, you get slightly different ships depending on which one you pick. And these start you with the same resources. This one starts you with bullets because, of course, your, your starting ship, I mean, this is your salvage combat. So you got to start with some bullets. And then you have uh, the drifters. Um, they're mining, but from what I can see, they don't really belong to like any serious faction. This is cut off from the universe. And this is for exper experienced players only. No beginner ship available. So it just kind of starts you off with nothing here. Um, but I've been playing with this one, and I've found that this one's a pretty good one to start with. Uh, if you want to, you can buy the, the starter ship. I'm going to show you how to get past that and save your money here and start with these resources. See, this one doesn't start you with any like hydrogen or anything. It essentially allows you to build your own ship. But uh, with this one, you can do that and start with the starting uh, resources here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, here we are. We just loaded into the game here and you're gonna start off, you're in like this area here. This is like your your main hub, your, your starting location. You can come over here to the uh, store, store Otron and uh, buy your ship. So if you click purchase ship here and it shows you this is your like starting ship you can purchase. But don't do it. I'm just showing you where it's at. I advise not buying this. Just don't just don't buy it. Um, the reason I say to start with this faction is because I've played this one and I know that this one has a good mining setup. So um, before we get into that, you can also come over here and this is your galactic trade. So you can buy and sell all the resources that you're going to need to get started. This one is the important one. This is silicon and uh, you can't harvest that here. So you're going to need that for your ship to build your first ship, but you can't harvest it. So we're going to buy it. But there's uh, there's some stuff we can do down here that's important. So you come down here into this and your mining in this game is done through these things here. You just teleport it in. So let's start off with uh, this right here. This looks good. So you just look at it, you click it, and then you click mine and then it teleports the asteroid in and then it'll start mining. So we have a couple of different decks here. I'm just going to go to each of them and just uh, click and then click mine. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna look for something that has all three of those resources like this. And then you can see it's got iron, copper, and carbon. Click mine. And then we're gonna come back over here to the first one. You can see it's already placing some stuff down. Uh, you can go ahead and grab that, get going. I'm actually going to uh, give that a second. We're just gonna wait and let that fill up there. Okay, so now it's all done. Now what I advise to do is to come over here and start, oh, it jumped on me to start a new one. So we're going to click that. We're going to click mine. And then this one's still going, but just finishing up. So now it's done. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. We got a lot of good asteroids going on right now. So and then we're going to come over here and this one should be finishing up as well. And you're going to start uh, a nice repetition here once you get this going. All right. So now that that's going, these are all full. See how this is full? And you just look at these and you hit E and you can pick them up. 
Okay, and then where you can see we're filling up our top bar up there. So we're just gonna do the same thing over here. Make sure everything's full. Okay, we're all topped out except for copper. Now we're topped out of copper. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the refiner and we're gonna dump in all of our iron. So you can just look at it like so and then dump in all of your iron like that. And then you're gonna come up here and shows you all of your iron. If you need to get it back out, you can just look at it and click that little eject symbol and that pulls it back out. But we wanna leave it in there. So we're gonna leave it in there and we're gonna click that and then we're gonna click process and then we're gonna let it do its thing. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put in the carbon and the copper and then we're gonna process the copper. Now this is the quickest way I figured out how to do this and just kind of burn through this and like, mm, probably about a half hour or so. Um, I'm not gonna make you set through the whole half hour of this. I'm just gonna show you how to get started. So that's going there. So now we're just gonna come on over here and we're gonna fill this up until it won't take anymore. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put this copper in here. And then we're gonna fill our bar back up. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure everything's topped off and our bar is completely full. We should be good and grab some carbon back there and you can just look at it you can see our little cursor there you just look at it and that's what you're going to be picking up so now we're nice and full on that and we're going to do the same thing we're going to just fill up all of this iron here and then we're going to click this again and uh is it still processing oh yeah it's locked up so we need to grab this off of here now you see we're running into an issue here our we're full of unprocessed iron and then we have some processed iron here take this processed iron right on over here this is your vault this is like your storage area you can see we have our hydrogen and our oxygen in there just throw your iron in there just toss it in like that and you're good to go and then we're going to continue to uh fill this full of iron and uh is it is it done Processing ready, click it. Okay, yeah, click proceed and just let that do its thing for a second. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna dump in the copper and uh, the carbon. And uh, that, that's not what I wanted to click. I wanted to click this and click process. And you can see how the repetition goes. Now we're gonna bring this copper over here and we're gonna dump that in the vault like so. And then we're gonna grab all of this fresh iron coming right off the press there and uh, that should continue to process when this opens back up like it just did we're gonna dump some more iron in there now while that's going you want to make sure you keep coming over here and selecting like so and do the same thing over here just keep keep these going you want to keep these full at all times you can see this one can't move because it's uh, it's full up and uh, so I'm gonna do this for a minute. Oh wait, one more thing I, I need to show you before I do that for a minute. Take this, some of this processed iron, you see we have a bunch of it here, and we're gonna dump that in here. And we're doing that because that will create steel. So you can see we have steel here. If we look at the carbon and we click on it, it shows that it's used in steel. You click on steel and it shows you that it takes one carbon and two processed iron to make steel so that's why we dumped that in there now we're going to just process that like so so the only iron you want in this one is your processed iron that way this one is constantly turning out steel and copper and this one over here is just constantly turning out processed iron because you're going to get far more processed iron or I should just say iron ore than you are the other two and then what you're going to do is you're just going to constantly bring that over and dump that into your vault till you get a ton of it all right so I'm going to do this for a minute and then we're going to come back and we're going to go over what to do next okay so now that I've shown you how to collect resources quickly and efficiently let's talk about how many you're gonna need so I already collected a whole bunch got a bunch here in my inventory and we're gonna go back up here to the um, the promenade and there is the ship constructor right here this is where you like edit and build your ships in game um, you can also do it outside of game on the main menu you can go straight to the ship builder there but 
we're going to do it in game because we're going to build one. So you have design, modify, uh, salvage, and build. We want to build, so we're going to click that. Now I have a bunch here. Don't pay attention to, to all these. Uh, you're going to have easy starter ship. Now I've already uploaded this to the the Steam mods, so I'll provide a link to that in the description. If you want to use my ship, if not, you've already played with a ship builder. You know what you're doing. That's fine. If you want to build your own ship, have at it by all means. This is for people who, you know, aren't familiar with or don't really want to get into the ship editor yet and just want to play the game. Uh, I've provided an easy starter ship. It's also easily uh, upgradable and all of that. You mean it's perfect for getting started and it's a much better ship than the ship that you're going to buy that they start you with. Way more efficient. Okay, so you can see here it shows you what we're going to need. So uh, we're going to need... Uh, Right here is your cost, 20,360 iron, 7,085 copper, 850 silicon, and 8,250 steel. You can see I have all of that available except for the silicon. Now we're just going to go buy that. That's why I told you not to buy the ship because you have all of that extra money to start with. And we can come over here to the galactic trade and we can scroll down do right here and we can click buy and that's going to show us how much we want to buy and we just click right there in that box and then you can type 850 you can see how much that's going to uh, cost us so we'll just hit enter to lock that in so you can see the transaction is going to cost us 56,950 this is how much we have here we have uh, 750,000 so we're just going to go ahead and buy that all right, now that we have that, I'm just going to go over here and toss this into the vault. Like so. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to build our ship. So easy starter ship. You can see now we have everything available and we'll click build. And then that's it. This ship is constructed. So for a much cheaper cost, if we come over here and we look at this, uh, what does this starter ship cost? Uh, 699,000 and what do we pay? Like 65,000, 60 some thousand. What do we pay for that? I don't even remember what we paid for that. 56,950. So for essentially 57,000, uh, in a little bit of time, you keep a lot more of your starting money and you're in a really good starting area here too. I really like this starting area, which is one of the reasons I suggest this faction. Like I said, I haven't checked out the other factions yet. Uh, this is the one I'm familiar with. This is the one I like, and it seems a really easy start, and that's what I'm trying to show you, an easy start. So now what we're going to do is we're going to teleport to our ship, and we're going to check it out. So you just come over here to this teleporter. You look at this screen. You click your ship. And you click teleport, click confirm, and you have four seconds to step inside the pad. And then it's just going to kick us right over to our ship. So here is our ship. And I've laid this ship out so it's super easy and efficient to use. Everything is really close by, really tight knit. You can see it's a very tiny ship. The starter ship that you buy, if you want to buy the starter ship, you have to go like down a flight of stairs into this other room, into the mining room, and and um, then back up to the cockpit. And it's just a real pain in the butt to just navigate around. This one's super easy. Everything is like right here, right at your fingertips. You have your cockpit. You can pop inside of it you can fly around so we can take take off you can see we're uh, oh wait actually you know what we can't take off uh, because I forgot to bring fuel with us you need to grab your fuel that's very important all right let's head back to the ship so to get back you're just going to click right there like that and then click teleport and it's gonna charge yours normally will charge faster but this one's gonna take a second because we're out of fuel and uh, then we'll just step inside of it and teleport back I'm gonna grab the fuel real quick all right so we're over here you just want to grab this fuel out of you just look at it and click it you'll pull the fuel out of it just go ahead and pull all of that and grab your oxygen as well. And then do that before you go over to your ship. And then once you're on your ship, you're going to come down all the way to the back corner here. And this is your fuel tank. This is where you put your hydrogen. So all you have to do is just make sure you have it selected and then just tap E 
and it will insert it all in. You can see you have it all in there. If you wanna pull one out, you can pull one stack out by clicking that button. You can pull all of it out by clicking that button. But we wanna leave it in there. So we're gonna leave it in there so we can power our ship. And then we wanna make sure that we come over here to uh, our life support system. It is up here. Right here is your life support system. Just insert the oxygen there. After a period of time, this will fill up with carbon. You can click these buttons to eject them like that. And then you can just uh, hit E to pick that up and it will go, go back there. So we picked up a whole two carbon. And if you have too many resources and you don't have room for them, this is your ejection slot. So you just, bam, there, it's gone. I didn't really wanna deal with that carbon, so I just ejected it. You can do the same thing with the oxygen. You can click that and it will drop that one down and you can pull your oxygen out. Uh, over here, you have your panel to look at your ship stats, ship map, system info, sensors, all of that stuff. These are your shield generators. You can disable those if need be. That's another thing. I don't think the starter ship comes with shields, if I remember correctly. This one does. Gives you a nice, uh, I think it's 2,000. Uh, if we look over here, yeah, now a nice 2,000 hit point shield padding, which is really nice. Um, and then we can come... Back this way, you have your batteries. You can see that those are charging nicely. And the other thing that's really nice about this one that the starter ship does not come with is you have a salvage unit here, which is super helpful. So you can see we ejected that. We can pull that back in right now with the salvage unit. The other, the reason it's super helpful is because every now and then in this starter system next to uh, the, what is this, this fat, whatever the ship is over here, where whoop where are you let's look for it here this right here this industrial uh complex here the, the drones will come and fire at it and it has drones which you can see right here it has mining drones but it also has safety drones that will uh destroy it you don't even have to do anything and then you can collect the salvage and that is a great way to make some income right from the get-go because you can get a lot of materials off that that you can't get uh in the system very easily so the other thing we can come over here we can immediately get to work on mining stuff just click mine and it works just like what we were doing before it's going to put everything here and then you can just run right across and drop it into your refinery here so i'll demonstrate that for you real quick so we can grab that carbon we can bring it right over here and we can drop it into the refinery same thing with the copper Bam, there you go. If you need to move your ship because you're not getting the ore that you want or the uh, stuff you want, you can just come over here, bam, move your ship a little bit, walk right down the side here. And actually the way I have it set up here, you can actually walk right off the side directly down onto it. Nice and easy. Drop your iron off and it's real close to the salvage unit which it only puts out one at a time so you can grab it either drop it on one of these pads that are right next to you or run right around the corner and drop it into your refiner so nice little quick easy uh ship ready to get you started and uh you're good to go you have plenty of pallet space here to put stuff on and uh yeah all right so that's going to be it for this one i'm going to show you how to make a lot of money with this thing and uh, how to upgrade it easy and all of that stuff in the next episode because we got a lot of other stuff to cover like how to do the missions and all that stuff but we'll cover that in the next episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patreon supporters for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching